Hey everyone, Nick here. Today we're going to be making an arrowhead necklace. In the last video, I showed how I napped a piece of mahogany obsidian into an arrowhead with copper tools. I'm starting out with a maple arrow shaft, though you could use any hardwood dowel. I mark the dowel at three quarters of an inch, and then using a coping saw, cut down to the three quarter inch mark. So this slot is how far the arrowhead will go into the arrow shaft. I use the coping saw again and widen the slot so that it will fit the shape of the arrowhead a little better. Once I've roughed out the slot, I double check to see how much needs to be removed and then finish fitting with a file. Once I'm done filing, the arrowhead fits nicely in the slot. I then drill a 1 8 inch diameter hole an inch and a half away from the end of the dowel. Once the hole is drilled, I cut the piece down to an inch and three quarters long. I remove any burrs from drilling or filing with the tip of a sharp knife. I then take a file and smooth off the back end of the arrow shaft. And then I use the file to smooth out the front so that the arrowhead will transition nicely into the arrow shaft. A little bit of sanding and it's ready for fitting. Once I'm happy with the fit of the arrowhead, I pour out a little bit of epoxy and mix it up with some charcoal so that it has the look of pine pitch. Once the epoxy is mixed up, I apply it to the inside of the slot and then carefully slide the arrowhead in place. I wipe off any excess epoxy and then let it cure. Once it's cured and it's solid, I take some pine pitch glue that I made and apply it to the outside. This way it has the look and feel of natural pine pitch, but the epoxy adds extra strength to the glue bond so that the arrowhead won't come off. Then with a piece of artificial sinew, I start wrapping the arrowhead, starting off at the base and then crisscrossing into the notches in the arrowhead. Once I've wrapped three times, I cross back and then finish off the wrap by making a loop, then wrapping over the loop. Once the wrap's done, I pull the loose end through and then trim off any loose ends. Now that the wrap is finished, I use a thin CA or super glue to stabilize the wrap so that it doesn't fray or come apart. I wipe off the excess with a paper towel and then let it dry. So here it is all finished. For the neck cord, I'm using a 32 inch long piece of braided cotton. Now this has been waxed and sealed so that it's somewhat waterproof. After running it through the hole, I overlap the ends and then use the small loose end to dye an overhand knot. I tighten it up and then I repeat on the other side so that I have two overhand knots. The finished neck cord is completely adjustable and can fit a variety of neck sizes. You just pull it open to get it over your head and then you can tighten down the tabs allowing you to custom fit it depending on how you want to wear it. So here I am putting it on. You can see I put it over my head, pull the two tabs, 
until it's at a comfortable level for me. But here it is, all finished up. I'll leave a link in the description to my Etsy store where I have a few of these available. And if you're interested in what I'm doing, I've also written several books on different topics including knife making. And I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.